Today's son of the day, Duke of Tom Ford's Bitter Peach. You're welcome. But you know right off top. My son of the day is a dua. It's real cool today. But I've been looking forward to it being cool. For selfish and fragrance reasons. Flight work, nothing too crazy. I do a full outfit. I didn't do a get ready with me because. <laughs> because, quite honestly, I'm running late. I've gotten used to working remote. So, I ain't gonna lie to you, the whole get ready with me unless I'm getting ready to go somewhere is a epic, epic fail. You feel me? I had to start the day with a little bit of dead silence. I ain't stressing the day. And we are off. First off, if you're new to the channel, here at Uncommon Sense, we talk about all things fashion, fragrance, style, lifestyle, mental health, and wellness, and travel. Today, I'm going to delve into a fragrance that I've not reviewed yet, but I've had for quite some time. That fragrance is Dua's Sour Peach. Get into that now. Concentration is the start of the parfum. What I find from this fragrance, I've really started to enjoy its dryness. I honestly feel like the dryness of Dua Sour Peach is perfect for this season. Also, fragrances that are usually this juice color go very well with the season. I already hit the body. But let's go ahead and get with the notes. <clears throat> Some strong aldehydes or alcohol vibes in the beginning. Woods. <clears throat> Again, there's something real dry about this fragrance and it's that fragrance, you know what I'm talking about? When you smell it, it makes you want to clear your throat. Like I honestly feel like I need to go ahead and get some cold water to balance it all out. But there is of course peach notes there. So I'm a little creamy slash lactonic about it. And I'm kind of getting like a pina colada type, kind of type vibe from it. So that's that lactonic feel I'm talking about. I'm noticing that this fragrance is pretty linear. It does not evolve much on my skin. It smells really sexy though. And I feel like this fragrance is extremely unisex. Depends on how and who you are how you rock it i don't feel like the fellas would have any problem pulling this one off at all this one is not a monster projector on my skin it is not it does not leave a large sillage or centrail it's one of those fragrances that is perfectly understated kind of muted even but what i do know is you will not go unnoticed it's such a fresh, dry fragrance. It's crisp. And I really feel like the time to wear it is autumn. Not necessarily winter because it's going to be too cold. This transitional period that we're in right now where it is warmer in the day and really cool at night, I feel like this is the perfect time to start to wear this fragrance because sooner or later, it won't really make much difference. And if you look at it, you can see how much sheen it has. Yep, I was about to do the same thing. Y'all didn't see that. Gotta do what we gotta do. <laughs> this has a lot of oil content in it, if you can't tell. However, I feel like it's a very well blended fragrance and the House of Dua themselves do an amazing job with either replicating fragrances or coming up with fragrances that smell really full realistic to what they are. Also, the composition is usually extremely well done. I've not had any duas that I did not enjoy, nor have I had any duas that were subpar. This one is no exception. And to be quite honest, I believe Tom Ford, their performance and what they actually give are a bit overpriced. This one is no exception, to be quite honest with you. I would have been very annoyed 
to have paid time for prices for a fragrance that performs this way. That's just me. I have an expectation for fragrances that are expensive to perform better, to last longer, etc. Because otherwise, why am I paying the premium? Especially when in the world of fragrance, there are so many different fragrances that are similar veins for different price points. Again, we can talk about the quality of ingredients all day. That may be a case every now and again, but that's not the case unilaterally across the fragrance world. So let's just put that out there. Some fragrances are purely hype based on the brand. And again, sometimes you're paying for the brand name. I totally understand as a business owner and brand myself, yes, we want the best price to secure our financial freedom and financial independence. I totally get it from a business standpoint. However, when you start to alienate customers, I feel like for me specifically, if I walk away from a fragrance or a purchase feeling like I got, got? <laughs> if I end up feeling got, like I got got, I'll be less apt to return. You'll get a returning customer from me because we're aligned by messaging. We have the same, similar set of values. I enjoy the brand and or product in a way because it enriches my life that another one doesn't. But when you have a collection of 200 plus fragrances, you're in that place where you're looking for things that you don't have. Because if I wanted multiple iterations of something that I already have that's working for me, then I wouldn't necessarily keep searching for different fragrances. I wouldn't be uncommon sense. I would be O Shlomo who has found his niche and is working in it. That's not necessarily me though. I want to keep expanding the boundaries in such a way that I even surprise myself. And of course, continue to bring good content to you all. So, went on a little tangent there, but this fragrance to me, it starts off a little louder, drier in the beginning, and it starts to settle big time. It's kind of the texture of a peach, if that makes any sense. But it's gonna be the texture of a peach when it's around the pit, that kind of very corrugated, almost spiny, depending on what time you pick it. Flesh. So, it's an amazing skin scent. I can see this working very well on the I, I truly can. Uh, it has that tenderness that is often equated with the feminine form. I think it's safe for office wear, especially post-COVID time when we're on that hybrid type of working environment. I don't think it's offensive at all. It's borderline in the niche territory where everyone's not going to like this or gravitate toward it, but to others around you, you won't get any feedback that it doesn't smell good. If I had to equate it to anything, I feel like it smells like the satchels of potpourri or the satchels of freshener, more high end. A high end satchel of potpourri or bouquet. It's kind of what this one smells like. So for the price, I got it second hand. <laughs> I think I bought it from Tyree Baby. I can't remember who I bought it from. But I bought it from somebody. They didn't particularly care for it. I enjoy it though. I went 10 sprays across the chest and neck area. Two across the back of my neck. And when it's all said and done, I really feel like this fragrance is pretty dope. It's a good solid price point. About 50, 60 bucks for sure. Thirty mil, so on the pricey side. But that juice color is amazing. It looks like whiskey almost. So that's where I'm at with this fragrance. I've not done a review on it. I can't believe it. I did it on a live, if I'm not mistaken. However, that was a while ago. That was like height of COVID time. In my experience, this fragrance projects for about maybe two ish. One and a half, two-ish hours, and then it settles into a nice, decent skin set. It sits a little closer to the skin. It lasts on my skin about six and a half hours until I can't smell it anymore. I'm not sure if that means I am anosmic to it at that point, or is it truly gone? I'm 
not 100% sure of that. Not a large projector. So I can't check in with the individuals around me to see, can you still smell? Place, what would I wear this to? I would wear this to, I would wear this on a date because I feel like all date fragrances don't have to be as sweet. Um, and this one is a little more bitter. Of course, I wear it to the office. It's not offensive. I love fruity musky scents and it has that type of vibe. A dry fruity musk. I think I smell iris in there too. I would be interested to see do any fragrances use like a nectarine though. Like the offshoot kind of fruits. Um, I feel like nectarines and peaches are really similar, not the same, of course, because they have a harder texture. Maybe they're not as fragrant. I'm not sure. I'm gonna wrap up this ride along in such a way. Maybe I'll do a little bit more day in the life later. shaved either. I've been taking a break from shaving and have not been feeling like it. And also too, I've noticed for me, shaving a lot really drives me out. Also, that friction gives me razor burn. And you get that discoloration. And so, I try to give myself a break from that. I was talking to my buddy the Fragrant Life, he was more or less talking about his beard care routine. And I started thinking about stuff like, hey, what if I steamed it? I steamed it, used aloe vera gel for the skin underneath, and a leave-in conditioner. And then I used a beard oil. I got it off of Amazon for hair, skin, all of that. I do feel, though, that it's my beard is still not as supple and soft as I would like it. So I gotta continue to try to find a really good conditioner that keeps the beard soft and moisturized. Because one thing I noticed is once my beard is moisturized, the texture changes drastically. I like how fluffy it's gotten. It used to be not so fluffy. It used to be like you could see through it. Um, I don't know what's changed. Well, I kind of do know what's changed. My diet and my uh, wellness has gotten better and actively. And that indeed has helped out. So I'm um, big proponent of health and wellness. Go get your hormone levels checked, fellas, because what you may find out is things that are problematic and bothersome for you are beyond your control. Um, your vitamins, make sure you take your vitamins, make sure you get the proper amount of sleep. I'm guilty, I still don't get the proper amount of sleep. I try to make it up on the weekend and we all know that don't work. You just end up sleeping your life away, your off time. So try your best not to sacrifice your wellness for productivity. We all do what we gotta do, we all grown. I totally get it. Try your best. That's all I'm doing is trying my best each and every day. I am trying my absolute best and hopefully I'm making a difference with myself, for others as well, those around me. So, shout out to Lamar Gasson because he actually, I heard him earlier when I was pulling up a duo and he had recently said on one of my videos, hey, I'd love to see your duo reviews. Shout out to you, bro. And I'm gonna snip it for now. And we're gonna get into B-roll mode of rolling through. All right, so just arrived at work. We're gonna walk it in and we're gonna make it happen. Have y'all still been wearing y'all mask and minding y'all business, drinking y'all water? I don't think so, but it's okay. I'm gonna wear it for you. Now I can need to give me a placement. No, I just I took this mask from my mom when I went to go see her, and I absolutely love this mask. Try to get into the whole fit. Adidas. Rockin' Republic jeans. 
jumper, decent t-shirt. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, feel me? I need to be on somebody's beach, below the equator, <laughs> or west coast, or something. This cold foolishness is not for me no more. Comment below of some states I need to visit that I haven't yet, or places I need to visit I have not visited yet. Take a suggestion. All right, so I'm coming back at y'all. I'm on lunch. You need to grab me something quick to eat. Um, update on the fragrance. I'm still getting good whiffs of it. It's real woody and free at the same time. It literally smells like the peach pit. So like that center area. Um, if you've ever cracked open the peach pit before, you know what I'm talking about. So it's, the scent is very reminiscent of that. I can't get past it. Um, it's sitting close to the skin. No more than about a foot of projection outward. Not a long CI's trail, but I smell it when I move to and fro and then have a seat. I need to feel like this one hanging in there and lasting. It's already been with me since 8 a.m. And it's now going on one o'clock. I think we're batting a thousand there, to be completely honest with you. Um, I can't ask for more than that.